Thank you very much. Last but not least, Liu Fontaine. And we'll do a voice in from Liu that we recorded. So let's see what we can, we can do. Yeah, as long, as long from there, Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Johan Lo. I'm the principal of Leeuwenfontein Primary School. Um, Marie, I'm going to set my watch um, for the 10 minutes, but I see to finish at 1 o'clock, I need minus 40 minutes. So I'll talk very fast. Um, you know what it means if a principal sets his meeting or you write 10 minutes on the program. You know what it means? Nothing. <laughs> it just needs nothing. <laughs> we just continue. Um, it is my honor and privilege to introduce our partnership and what we have learned, experienced, and visionized during 2020. Now, I must tell you, uh, initially, I was very puzzled, Mariette, to be on this program, being a uh, a, a, a white principal, mm -hmm. over 60. I thought it must have been one or other affirmative action, yeah. <laughs> so I'm the affirmative action today. And I'm proud of that. Thank you for <laughs> allowing me on this program. I really enjoyed it. Uh, Leeuwenfontein Primary School is a farm school. And uh, as I've spoken to my colleagues from the farm schools, you know, we use this farm when necessary. Uh, if we can benefit, we're a farm school. And we tell people that we need help from everybody. Um, but we are a farm school established in 1957. The school was established to serve the local community of Leeuwenfontein and, and those areas. Um, I'm currently a as, as far as I know, the sixth principal of the school. My partner, unfortunately, can't be here, as you've heard. He's uh, currently in hospital, so a little bit later we'll have a voice message uh, from him. I'm not sure if he's going to be on the Zoom as well. No, he's just gone off. So okay. So he's the owner also of Cullen and Diamond Lodge. Now, let me t tell you something about Lowe. He studied chemistry and worked at the Forensic Science Laboratory for, of the SAPS for about 11 years. Thereafter, he obtained his BCom honors degree and made a career change into the financial world. He gained valuable experience from working in the governmental and private sector. He had the opportunity to get involved in different sectors, and out of this, various businesses were established. Lowe is really a business entrepreneur. He says here, and I'm reading, he is a true entrepreneur and embraced challenges with skill and determination. He is also passionate about the community and participated in a study tour to Jamaica for sustainable community development. Out of this, the Community Development Initiative International, a non-profit organization company, was born and is still active in the communities. And this is actually what binded Lowe and myself together, is his passion for entrepreneurship, which is also part of mine, and his love for the communities. He joined the PFP program because he felt that he could add, as well as gain value, in the beneficial relationship between the partners. He often quoted and said, the biggest mistake an individual can make is to think he is too old and uh, to learn and change. And I've also adopted that, never too old to learn. Through the duration of the program, we attended different study workshops and dealt with various aspects of leadership skills, which taught him a lot about his shortcomings as a person and a leader. It made him realize that he have genetic strengths and weaknesses that allows us enough space to grow, both of us. The whole experience reopened his thinking process to get a specific result, certain steps need to be followed. Lowers of the opinion 
that you have to listen to people. This is now after this, this process that we follow. Listen to people attentively and do not interrupt unnecessarily. Give appreciation to people and always start on a positive note. He applied most of the principles that he had learned over the past years in his personal life and business and that enabled him to handle different situations more effectively. Now this is where um, I have to hand over to our technicians to uh, just insert a voice message from Lo, um, where he introduces me. Good morning ladies and gentlemen. First of all I just want to say it was absolutely a pleasure to be part of Partners for Possibilities and I would have loved to be there today. I became part of a wonderful caring family and we formed strong solid bonds for the future. Mariette and now Dr. Mayberg, you are such a strong leader and what a privilege to be led by you. Petra Group and Cullen and Diamond Mine, what a great investment you did in the community. You will see direct the return on your investment in this group and in the community. Thank you. Johan, personally, I learned so much from you. Your determination, the way you handle challenges and your problem solving capabilities is such an inspiration for me. Thank you for all our great discussions. You always make time in your busy schedule for our phone calls, quick coffees and meetings. Now I do have the honor of to officially introduce you to my partner, Dr. Johan Lowe, the headmaster of Leeuwenfontein Primary School. He is full of passion and is absolutely committed to the school. He does have such a great impact on the community that he serves so well. Johan, I salute you for that. Even during COVID, you made sure that there are food for the learners. He has been through the spectrum of life with experiences in education, business and NGOs. His passion for the people makes him a true educator, life transformation mentor and coach. His personal mission is to bring hope for the poor, whether it be physical, psychological or spiritual. He believes that's a positive mindset and an attitude towards entrepreneurship can bring change to the poor communities and the world we live in. He is an anthropologist and a world traveler. His interest in people from different backgrounds and cultures has motivated him to visit more than 20 countries. He is currently the sixth principal of Leeuwenfontein Primary School. The school was established in 1957 as a mission school to serve the surrounding communities for education. The first principal was Father Weber. The school has 582 learners from grade R to grade 7. There are 16 dedicated educators. It's a farm school of almost 2 hectares on a 10 hectare privately owned plot in the Leeuwenfontein area near Roodeplaat Dam. 85% of the learners are from poor informal settlements with about 75% of the parents being unemployed. After all these said, Johan, I just want to say, you made this journey on the PFP program fun and full of pleasure and worthwhile. I am most grateful. Thank you. Thank you very much to my partner. I joined the PFP program because we needed partners to make things possible at the school and in the feeder zone communities. It sometimes gets lonely in the office and you need people. All our principals will, will um, affirm that. I've learned in order to transform others, you need to be willing to be transformed yourself. We work with SMTs, educators, SGB and parents and we need uh, extra wisdom in order to address the issues at the school. The community shapes you before you shape them. That I had to learn. I've gained a greater awareness and deeper understanding of the people around me. The PP PFP process has empowered me to gain the following knowledge and skills. It has firstly made me humble and taught me to keep quiet and give others the opportunity to talk, which is not always easy for us as principals and teachers. During the PFP sessions, I was not always vocally and actively expressing my ideas, 
but it gave me time to listen attentively to others. It gave me more time to think, understand, and learn. By listening to and learning from others, I developed an attitude and skills of flawless consulting. It made it easier for me to be authentic and accountable. It made the contacting process smoother. I could understand better if someone resisted change. It made the discovery of a journey together an adventure. During our partnership journey, we kept and reminded each other during our sessions to keep focus on the components of the thinking environment. We discovered that it is difficult to always keep quiet and not interrupt when other one is talking. We have become aware of each other's needs and as well as contributions to the partnership. We have been focusing on building our partnership, also to respect each other's viewpoints. We have experimented with brainstorming techniques and creative ideas, coming up with workable solutions for the whole school community. We have learned about each other's frustrations and wishes in the work environment. We have identified challenges. There's a lot of challenges, but we've focused on mainly two for this year. And this was a journey on its own. Addressing the fatherlessness, as Charlie has also said, amongst our boys and our girls in the community. And the need for extra and co-curricular activities to be expanded. And we've decided to combine the two through a program, the Community-Based Extracurriculum Activity, or Sebeka programs, um, empowering local community members to become life coaches through sport, art, and music. We've worked together, we've brainstormed, we've shared, we took time to think, we consulted. We have not implemented our programs as yet. As you know, we had the COVID restrictions, and this was mainly focused on, on, on working together in communities and in sport programs as yet. But we have consulted widely and identified resources and community members that can assist with the implementation, which will continue beyond the end of this program. I really want to thank everybody. Uh, thank you to Petra, thank you to P uh, Mariette and the PFP uh, colleagues um, that joined us in this program. It was very well and very good to work with you. Also to the directors that endorsed this program, we thank you all. Thank you. <laughs>